If you're on bioidentical hormone replacement therapy or thinking about it, listen up. If you're on a regimen, it worked great for the first one to three months, and now you're kind of wondering what happened. This is for you too. In September of last year, my estrogen was pretty low at 45, definitely making me a candidate for replacement. However, despite moving and eating well with consistency, I knew something was happening from an inflammatory standpoint. Several of my inflammatory biomarkers were elevated, but of most concern, my hemoglobin A1C was up to 5.9. So instead of replacing estrogen, I zeroed in on lowering inflammation every single place I could. And within six months, I was able to get my A1C down to 5.6. Don't forget your A1C is a snapshot of your blood sugar for the past three months. So if I continue on this path, I can expect it to continue to trend in the right direction. So all my hard work paid off because my estrogen is now up over 200. So if you're on a hormone replacement therapy regimen, I highly encourage you to have your practitioner dive deep on your inflammatory biomarkers before you start increasing your dosages. If watching this made sense and you feel like you need my help because you want some direction on what to do next, drop hashtag waitlist in the comments. I'd love to have you in my next group. And P.S. Despite everything I did, my testosterone still is in the gutter. So I'm excited to start pulsing some testosterone. Of course, I'll keep you posted.